Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day video. I really enjoy watching these videos on YouTube recently, so I thought that I would do my own. This is just a random day where I just had random stuff. This obviously isn't what I eat every day, but it's kind of fun. So let's jump straight into what I've eaten. So I've been starting off my day with this thin tea. This is the 28 day detox blend. There's also a 28 day fat burning blend as well, which you have before dinner. Um, so this is a really lovely tea because because it is very pepperminty so it's very refreshing in the morning I've really been enjoying it so I just add two splendors into my tea as well to make it a little bit sweeter I fill it up majority of the way with boiling hot water and then I also just like to top it off with some nice cold water so I can drink it straight away so I'm not waiting for it to cool down and I've really been enjoying it it definitely helps with bloating as well as digestion um, now I also felt like a savory but kind of sweet muffin so I made these uh, muffins with apple and banana so you need two cups of oats and I'm just going to put that into a medium uh, mixing bowl one teaspoon of uh, baking soda oh sorry baking powder you also need one tablespoon of cinnamon um, one cup of milk as well that's going to be our main wet ingredient so just let that soak for a sec then I also added in one egg and then put in a mashed banana um, make sure that it's nice and ripe so it tastes super super yummy and it's really sweet when it's nice and ripe and then I also added in one one diced apple as well now I decided to use pink lady that's just because my favorite apples are pink lady apples so just add in your favorite then I also put in one teaspoon of brown sugar as well um, just mix this until it's really nice and combined and then I'm just going to spray my muffin tray mix in the meantime and I'm just going to fill them up to the top um, definitely use muffin tray liners like muffin cup things um, it is a lot easier in the cleaning process because I just soak my muffin tray for a couple of hours because everything got totally stuck to it so do yourself a favor and use muffin tray liners so I preheated the oven to 160 and they were in there for 20 minutes till they're nice and golden brown absolutely love it now we're going to we're moving on to my favorite bliss balls these are chocolate date bliss balls my absolute favorite so what you'll need is about 15 to 16 medjool dates you need to pit them and I also ended up putting these all into a thermo mix which we are currently borrowing off a family friend um, so I like to put in the 250 grams of medjool dates you'll also need 20 grams of almonds 20 grams of um, I'm using cacao powder but if you want to use um, cocoa powder which is practically the same thing um, just add that in there as well then you also need 100 grams of desiccated coconut as well. You can use shredded. It really doesn't matter. Just as long as it is kind of shredded or desiccated, it doesn't matter which one you use, but use either of those. And then I need to go in with some rolled oats, 40 grams of rolled oats. Oh, it says roller. Yep. Uh, rolled oats. Um, so I am just adding in rolled oats um, in there and then I like to put the lid on and then put it on speed eight to nine approximately for about two minutes usually. This one went for a minute 45 um, but you're pretty much going to know when the mixture is ready when it's kind of warm um, and it kind of sticks together really really well. So just keep on blending until that is ready to go. So you can tell that the batter is all done now. It is all combined very, very well, and it's kind of like a sticky consistency, but I just like to roll those up with my hands. Highly recommend wearing gloves because they are sticky as, and I just like to roll some of them into coconut as well. Now this, you guys, is probably my favorite part of this video. I absolutely loved this. It is just watermelon juice. It is so, so tasty. So I just got a quarter of a watermelon and I slice that up nicely. So I just like to slice it long ways and then I spin it around and and then cut it down the middle so it makes easy triangles just easier to grab um, and then I just like to slice along the bottom just so it kind of releases the watermelon from the skin um, I'm sure you guys all do that anyway um, so I ended up adding um, half a watermelon into this uh, blender thing um, I only did quarter of a watermelon what I'm doing right now but I ended up adding some more in after it actually blended because I wanted more and then I just added in half the juice of a lemon 
lemon as well. Totally optional, but I love adding lemon into pretty much everything that I eat and drink. Um, so yeah, absolutely love it. So just blend that up really, really nicely. Um, this actually made that there was no bits whatsoever. I blended it up for about a minute um, just so there were no bits or anything and it turned out beautiful. It was so yummy. Um, I absolutely love it. Super healthy and I just couldn't get enough of this. And how cute is this mason jar? My best friend bought it for me and she knows that I love sugar skulls. So it was absolutely perfect for me. Now this you guys is probably my favorite snack at the moment. Um, it is just toast with avocado and tomato with heaps of salt and pepper. Um, so, so amazing. So I just like to use two slices of wholemeal bread. Um, you can use whatever you like. You can use sourdough, you can use Turkish, um, white bread, whatever you like. Um, just like to slice up a tomato. This is one tomato and I'm slicing it up into eight pieces as well because you need four bits per toast um, and then I'm just taking half an avocado slicing it long ways and then flipping it around and kind of splitting it into two so I've got half an avocado halved for half of my toast <laughs> um, so I just like to take that out of its little shell um, put it on the toast and then you can spread it on there and it is going to be so amazing you can just do avocado by itself if you don't like tomato avocado and toast is absolutely amazing so just spread that on there really really well doesn't have to be perfect because it is going to taste amazing regardless of what it looks like so once the avocado is on, I just like to add on the tomato, four slices per piece of toast, and then put a little bit of salt on, and then a ton of pepper. I love pepper on this actual meal. It is amazing. And yes, it was delicious. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it as well. Let me know if you guys like this meal, because it is amazing. Then moving on to dinner. Now this was definitely a indulgent kind of dinner. I don't usually do this kind of dinner, but I was really craving something carby, so I just got a little bag of the baby white uh almost said tomatoes uh potatoes and you just chuck these in the microwave for six to eight minutes um and while that's cooking i'm just going to dice up a onion and i'm going to chuck it in this tupperware kind of like crazy blade thing it just slices everything that you put into it it's absolutely amazing super convenient um so it just slices up literally within four pools um so i've got a um a pan not boiling heating <laughs> over medium heat i'm just going to put the onion in it and i'm just going to brown those and once they are browned i'm going to add in bacon now this is totally optional you don't have to add in bacon if you don't want to um, i just really felt like it and it's a really combination i actually learned this meal when i was in high school in cooking class so it's always been a favorite of mine it has been for a long time so i just divided the potatoes up i'm actually making this for me and my sister as well or my sister and i if I want to be correct um, and I'm just going to add the um, just the really yummy combination of onion and bacon and it was so so tasty um, so just like to toss those on top and then I'm just putting two little dollops of sour cream on top as well you literally cannot have this meal without sour cream it is amazing it tastes absolutely divine this like I said has been a favorite of mine for a really long time um, I've learned it when I was in like grade I think it was like eight or nine so it's been a long time since I learned this recipe and it is absolutely delicious <laughs> I think Brooke really enjoyed those I thought they were really good <laughs> so now moving on to dessert these are little puff pastry apple bites super yummy um, I thought that I would go all Pinteresty on this video but by the end of it I just got sick of it so I just got a green apple and I was using a um, like scooper like a fruit scooper or a melon scooper and it just was not working for me so by the end of it I got so sick of it that I ended up just chopping it up with a knife <laughs> but if you had more of a metal um, melon scooper I'm sure that would work a lot better so um, yeah it just didn't work for me so I ended up slicing them with a knife um, I ended up getting some puff pastry and I just cut these into um, into like 12 squares um, you need enough room for the apple to be able to be covered so just keep that in mind and I'm just spreading on some cinnamon sugar onto the base of these and just spreading it out with my finger um, just to make sure that it's nice and even and then you just want to pick up one little square and grab a piece of apple and just you know kind of like roll it up 
it's I don't even know how what you would even describe what I'm doing right now um, make it into like a dumpling kind of that's exactly what it is it's like an apple dumpling put these onto a sheet I ended up cooking them for I believe it was about 20 minutes uh, 160 um, so now I'm just using um, a little bit of pure peppermint tea again with the Heisenberg mug oh my gosh does anyone else watch Breaking Bad, it's amazing. So while I'm waiting for my tea to brew, that is what the apple dumplings look like when they're done. And this is pretty much the end of my day. Um, I'm just editing some videos, eating my apple dumplings, drinking my tea. And that is pretty much what my day looks like at the end of every single day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. What's your favorite meal at the moment? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.